Hey, what is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you my top five travel tips you should use when you go overseas. Now let's go. Hi, my name is Chandy and I like tea. I do a lot of food reviews and travel videos too, so hit that subscribe button, give me the south that notification bell love too. You know, I love the travel, love going overseas, and over time, I've accumulated a lot of travel tips. Most of these tips is stuff that I've got from people who I've met traveling, some online tips, and even mistakes that I've made. So here, I'm gonna give you my top five travel tips when you're gonna head abroad. Now, let's get this video started. Now, this is by far the most underrated travel accessory ever. It's only because there's a particular demographic of people here in Australia that kind of tarnishes the image of the beloved bum bag, but I can tell you why everyone should travel with one of these. And yes, I know, wearing this in Australia, you might get a few odd looks, a few comments, but remember, you are going overseas, so you don't have to worry about them. Best thing about I love about this bag, you can pretty much put all your accessories in here, your wallet, your phone, your keys, your passport, and when you're going through airport security, all you have to do is just strap it off, put it in the tray, and off you go. No more fooling around grabbing your phone, your wallet, and everything else out of your pockets into the tray. Just one clip, and off it goes. Another good reason why I like to carry this as well is because it helps prevent any pickpocketers trying to steal from me. And this is how I do it. I usually strap it around my body, like so. That way no one's trying to brush up against me and go into my pockets. All secure here, no one touches it. And I put like a jacket or hoodie over as well, or maybe just a button up shirt, whatever works. I've heard plenty of stories of people on crowded trains and their wallet goes missing because they have their wallet's possessions in their pockets and next thing you know, their wallet is stolen, they might find it a bit later. So this is a very good idea to help prevent any pickpocketers stealing your possessions. Usually having one phone is fine, but having two phones is beneficial. I'm gonna show you why. The good thing about having a second phone, that way you can just actually just use that one phone to store all your movies, your shows when you're traveling. That way your main phone stays charged at all times. And also you can even use the second phone to put in the travel SIM card. That way you don't have to take the other SIM card out of the other phone. Another good reason, and this may affect a lot of budget travelers or people who are staying in a few like cheaper hotels, once in a while you come across a hotel where there's a dead Wi-Fi spot in your hotel room. For example, like I was traveling in Japan and our hotel had Wi-Fi, but there was a dead spot where our beds were, but you can get the signal in the hallway near the door. So what I did was use my second phone, connect it to the hotel Wi-Fi, put it on a hotspot, which then amplifies the signal to have Wi-Fi signal where our beds were. So that way we can have Wi-Fi and scroll through Facebook, whatever, sitting in the comfort of our own bed, rather than having to sit in the hallway. Okay, you may think, why is a childless man like me is carrying baby powder with him while he travels? Well, I will tell you why. Baby powder works as a very great sweat antiperspirant. This is very useful when you're traveling around humid and hot countries where you've got a backpack on and your back starts sweating really badly. Apply a little bit of baby powder on your back, or even on armpits as well, it can prevent any sweat, any unnecessary sweat marks on your clothes while you're traveling. And what I also like to do as well, I put it on as well before I go on a long haul flight. That way I feel nice and fresh on the plane and when I get off as well. And I would highly recommend this for all the fellas out there that do sweat a lot. Yes, I know we're living in this fancy technological world where everything can be stored on your phone and devices, but I highly recommend printing out all of your itinerary, your maps, your hotels, any information that you need while you travel, have a hard copy with you at all times because technology, like their phones die, or sometimes you're not be able to log in. Batteries go flat, you know, just many things could happen, or your phone gets stolen, it happens. So just have a physical copy at all times. I've been in situations where I'm going through customs and immigrations where the people behind me have all digital copies of their itinerary and the hotel names and they, they have, to go, have to pick out the tablets and have to scroll through the menus and whatnot just to find out what name of the hotel was before they can fill out in the form and it holds everyone back. If you just had a printed one out there, boom, it's out there, sign off and you're done. I mean, there are plenty of full-time travelers out there who still vouch by this and they highly would recommend it. Have a printed copy of all your documents at all times. Thank you. 
And my final tip, this is actually a find I had while I was traveling to Japan. It's a public transport holder. This is an absolute godsend. I would highly recommend it if you're traveling on a budget and you want to catch public transport to the travel around your cities or destinations. The card fits directly in here, slides into place, and off you go. What you do, you usually have this little clip here, you clip it onto your bag or your pants, whatever what, like clips here. Catching public transport is a very affordable way to see your destinations. So I'd highly recommend picking up one of these to put your public transport card in. What many travelers do is they buy these transport cards, they put it in their pocket of wallet, and when they go up to the turnstile, they have to pull out the wallet, pull out the card, tap it, and walk up. And it kind of slows everybody else down. Having one of these just makes things so much quicker and easier. And I'll show you why. Hook this little bit at the end to your pants, bag, or whatever, as long as it stays with you at all times. And whenever you need to, and when you ever head to the train station, you tap on, this little bit here can stretch out, tap it on, Back in and back in your pocket. That's all you have to make so much quicker and easier. I managed to find mine in Japan and I got a cool little Deadpool one which I really like and I take this everywhere when I travel now. It's fantastic. So here that concludes my video. Those are some of my top five tips I want to share with you while I travel. If you've got any other tips as well, leave in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let's share all this information with all our fellow travelers out there. Anyway, enjoy yourself. Happy eating all. Munch out.